guys, it's been a while, welcome back. We're continuing with my subscriber battle series uh, where I challenged some of you recently and in this battle I'm leading with Nido King versus a Mock. He switches in his first turn so I went with an Earthquake but it hits the Slowbro instead. Doesn't do too much but it's not too bad either. Uh, did more than I expected it was going to. Um, and I had a feeling that Slowbro was either going to use a water move or a psychic move so I thought the best person to switch into that would be Greninja because either of those shouldn't, well psychic won't hit him and then uh, water wouldn't do too much and he heals himself with his leftovers so he's still got a load of HP so he withdraws though and I went for a dark pulse because obviously that would have been super effective but he switches into Muk again, um, so he gets hit by the Dark Horse, doesn't do a lot. Um, so I went for the Scold because I thought that was the best option to do a bit of damage and I was really hoping for a Scold, a Scold, a burn! <laughs> um, and he did get a burn so that was pretty lucky on my side. Gunk Shot doesn't do too much, takes me just below half but luckily leftovers lift me back up to green um, and I wanted to switch out but I didn't want to just do a plain old switch so I just used U-turn um, so that I could damage him a little bit uh, in the meantime and I went back to my Nido King because I thought well if he's going to hit me with a poison type move he, he shouldn't take it too much like too badly but he went with brick break and that didn't do a lot either so his burn takes him down to quite low hp so i assumed that he, he's got nothing to ko me with and that a uh, poison jab would be able to finish him off and it does as you will see um and then he brings in a dom fan um so i switched out at this point to my my Zoomeril because um, obviously I want to hit him with a water type move and he uses stealth rocks um, which I wasn't expecting and he goes on to switch after that because obviously he's not gonna want to take an aqua jet to the face and he brings in slow bro which gives me a free belly drum which is always good um, and I now knew that I would be faster than the slow bro, um, obviously, so I went for the play rough rather than the aqua jets that wouldn't do a lot, and I take it out in one hit, and he then goes on to bring in his, uh, his dog fan again, um, and I went with an aqua jet and I thought that it was going to hit him in one, like, KO him but I it's got sturdy and then I get like even more unlucky and he uses his red card and it switches me out even worse into my talon flame who then gets like absolutely destroyed by the stealth rocks um, but luckily he went for earthquake and it didn't hit him anyway so at this point I'm just kind of trying to annoy him a little bit and like I wanted to just wind him up because he wound me up and I went with the Brave Bird because obviously it was going to kill him, he wasn't on much HP and I wanted to get in there first. Um, but I'm also taking a lot of damage now that I didn't need due to the recoil and the damage from the rocks. And he switched into Crocodile and now I know that some people run him with Thunderfang. So I went with Protect so I could kind of scout him out, see if he did have that and he did. So I switched out and went to my Obama Snow and that takes the the upcoming Thunderfang quite comfortably which I knew he would, that's why I switched him in um, and then I knew that I would be able to Giga Drain him on my next turn if he stayed in. So I go for the, the Mega Evolve and I did choose the, Mega, the Giga Drain but he switches out and in comes a Star Raptor and I hate these things so much. So the Giga Drain hardly puts a dint in him. Um, but now I've got the Hail up so that's always good to have on my side. 
and I pretty much at this point knew that that Brave Bird was going to be coming my way or close combat so I knew to switch him out and I brought in my Nido King pretty much as death fodder because <laughs> I just wanted to just stall him out a little bit um, so that he would take some some hail damage and his defences would get lowered by the close combat. Uh, I didn't think that Nido King was going to be able to take two close combats but he did so his defences got lowered twice um, which made me feel a lot more comfortable bringing my Abomber Snow back in for the Ice Shard because now I knew that it should take him in one hit. Um, I don't like just going for the priority Ice Shard because I've done that on a Star Raptor before and it's not worked out in my favour, it hasn't killed it in one hit. So at this point I was pretty comfortable um, and I got the, the priority Ice Shard off and managed to take out the Star Raptor. Um, so after that he goes and brings in a Gardevoir which is called Kim, thank you, that's really cute. Um, and it's a shiny one too, it's all blue. Uh, and he megas his Kim the Gardevoir, which I've always wanted to use one of these, but I've never tried one. And I thought he was going to be able to take a hit from this thing, but obviously not. And he, he gets like KO'd by a hyper voice, and like an idiot, um, I swapped in my Talonflame because I forgot about them damn stones the bane of Talon Flame's existence and I obviously I lost him and I had to switch into my Greninja who then also gets knocked down to below half because of them down stones um, I went with Scold because I wanted it to burn him but I didn't get burn on him and he just wallops me with an energy ball uh, I didn't see that come in so that was really unlucky and then I come in with El Taco, my Horlucha, I love this thing and he doesn't take too much from the stones and manages to KO him with an Acrobatic. They said Acrobat. <laughs> um, and at this point I was starting to panic a little but I took a Thunderfang, he hangs on by like 1 HP, I did not see that coming at all. Um, and I thought that I was going to take him in one with the flying press but he gets took down to like 1 HP as well it's like totally hacks and then he finishes me off with the, the T-Fang obviously um, so my only option then uh, after he boosts himself even more with the Moxie obviously with him being on low HP the best bet is to bring in my Azumarill and just slap him in the face with an Aqua Jet and he had no he had no hope at that point so that was a really good game I enjoyed it uh, if you want to battle me hit me up on Twitter Facebook comment on my YouTube videos make sure you go and watch the rest of them and I'll catch you later